Hey, what's up guys? John here. Rent control is coming to Florida. It's just a matter of when. At this point, it looks like it could come in the next six months to a year. They're pushing aggressively for it where I am right now in West Palm Beach County. Now, what I think is ultimately going to happen, and it's already happening, is the relationship between landlord and tenant will continue to erode. And that's going to be instigated by this inflation problem because people are going to look at where their money is going. And if 30, 40, 50, or 60% of their monthly income is going towards rent, they're gonna demand change. And the blame is gonna be pushed towards the landlord. At the same time, landlords are being forced into paying increased premiums on insurance costs, repair costs, everything's getting more expensive. Now, I'm sure there's some landlords that have not seen prices increase and yet they're taking advantage of the times. But there are also many mom and pop landlords who are simply pushing their cost onto the tenant. So rent control is gonna have a very, very big effect on the Florida real estate market. What I think happens is if it does come to Florida, you can bet it's gonna be coming to Texas and it's gonna be coming to other cities, counties, jurisdictions, and states all over the country. And we're gonna see a completely different dynamic in the real estate market and the multifamily space. This article just came out just a couple hours ago. Florida residents make plea for rent control as housing costs become unaffordable. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Boynton Beach resident. As rental rates reach unprecedented levels in South Florida, the calls for rent control are growing louder, but some experts say it would only make matters worse for renters, those looking for housing. Linda Selden can't afford a rent increase and is facing a tough situation. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know where I'm gonna go, Selden said. I'm taking tranquilizers. I can't sleep at night. I'm terrified of what's going on here. It's horrifying. It's scaring me. She lives on a fixed income at Sea Lofts in Boynton Village in Boynton Beach, where rent is increasing 800 bucks or 60% spike that she can't afford. I'm borrowing money from friends to pay the difference, Selden said. I don't even have enough in Social Security to pay for rent. With nowhere to go or nowhere to turn, she, along with many residents who are being priced out, are pushing for rental caps in Palm Beach County. I can do it for 10%. I can't do it any more than that. I cannot. I don't have it. Florida Atlantic University real estate economist Ken Johnson said rent caps could lead to an economic trouble because what rent control do is actually tell developers that what we are going to do is control your revenue streams after you build the property. So naturally, builders, developers stop developing units or cut way back on the amount they're going to develop, Johnson said. Rent controls would actually shrink the number of units that are available. He said landlords will also find ways around the caps, which often lead to unexpected costs or hidden fees. All of a sudden, there's a fee for maintenance. There's a fee for rental applications, and it doesn't get encompassed in, say, the local laws around rent control. There are only a handful of states in the U.S. that allow rent control. New York, New Jersey, California, Maryland, Oregon, Washington, D.C. That list is only going to continue to grow. They're already talking about bringing it into Colorado right now. State laws prohibit such measures in Florida. However, there is an exception. A municipality like Palm Beach County would have to declare an emergency, but even then, voters must approve rent control and can only last a year. Now, they're talking about this already in Miami, in Dade County, and they already have a unanimous vote and approval on rent control in Tampa. But it's a different form of rent control. It's a, it's a small step in the direction of rent control. It's not a rent control as you would think of in like a New York or a California where it's very extreme. However, they are moving in that direction. There's now limitations and new laws that landlords have to abide by in Tampa. Their only other option would be to propose new statewide legislation, which is a move state rep Matt Wilhat a Democrat is hopeful for. I can understand landlords wanting obviously to cover some of those costs if they have to, but just charging drastic rates is just not fair to people. To me, it's almost similar to price gouging. The next legislation session set for May 23rd and will tackle property insurance rates, but Will Height said there's potential for rent control to also be addressed. A lot of my colleagues have called for that, and they've asked for that to be added to this special session, Will Height said. There are a lot of elected officials asking for help on this, that's for sure, especially at the local level because they're the ones hearing from people that they cannot afford to live in the cities and counties. Now, it's pretty wild to me how this whole thing has pretty much unfolded over the last couple of years, last two years. Things have been getting so much more expensive. 
for the middle class and for you know everyday Americans. Yet the elite, the wealthy, the very rich have been getting richer and richer and richer. And now what's happening is this division is pushing people against one another. And what's ultimately going to happen is that the tenants and the everyday citizens are going to be blaming the landlord. And all that's going to do is benefit the rich and the elite even more as they build out new policies and new protections and build out all these new measures to quote unquote protect the tenants. But in fact, what's ultimately going to happen is what happens every time. The capital and the cash and the opportunities just continue flowing to the top. Meanwhile, everyone at the middle and the bottom gets impacted. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on rent control in Florida? Do you think this is going to come all over Florida? Or do you think that it's not going to come and everything's just pretty much going to go away and go back to how it used to be? Drop your comments below. Let's talk about this. Hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's going to share this content. It's just, it's completely fascinating to me watching how far real estate has changed, how far we've gone in real estate over just the last couple of years, the relationship between landlord and tenant, the relationship with simply property owners, everything is changing and changing in such a massive way. I'll catch you guys in the next video. All the links are at the top for all my other social media platforms. Catch you guys later.